Welcome to the video lecture on types of ATM. In my earlier lecture, I explained the meaning of ATM and the structure of ATM. The full form of ATM is automated teller machine. ATM is electronic banking outlet or it is a device through which a bank customer can perform banking transactions without physically visiting to the bank branch at a particular location. A bank customer can perform most of the banking transactions like depositing money, withdrawing money, transferring money, check the balance, get the mini statement. These important services a customer can avail through this electronic banking outlet or through this particular device or machine. That is what the meaning of ATM is. That is we discussed this particular meaning and other important facts regarding the automated teller machine in our earlier lecture. Now in this particular lecture, I am going to discuss some important types of ATM. So let us start discussion on the types of ATM. The very first type of ATM is bank ATM. The ATM which is owned, managed and installed by the sponsor bank is known as bank ATM. The bank itself, the sponsor bank itself owned that particular hardware and machine. The bank itself manage all the things which are related with the operating of that particular machine and it also install that particular machine at a particular place. That type of ATM is known as bank ATM. No other service provider, other third party or other organization is involved in this particular process of providing ATM services. Only bank will manage everything. The bank own that particular machine bank own the hardware, bank itself provides the internet connectivity, bank itself manage all the things related with the installation of ATM. So all the functions are performed by bank itself. That particular type of ATM is known as bank ATM. The most important thing here to remember is that no other party, other service provider will involved in this particular installation of ATM. That type of ATM is known as bank ATM. The second type of ATM is known as on-site ATM. This on-site ATM is that ATM which is installed within the bank branch or nearby bank premises. The main intention of installing this on-site ATM is to avoid the queues or lines of the customers. The banks install this particular type of ATM within their branch or nearby the branch premises so that the customer instead of standing in a line instead of standing in a queue, they can perform the banking transactions, they can avail the banking services through this particular machine or through this particular automated teller machine. So therefore, the customers can be distributed. The customers, instead of standing in a lines and queues, they can avail the banking services through these machines. So therefore, this type of ATMs the banks used to install within their branch or nearby the premises of the branch. So these types of ATMs are known as on-site ATMs, which is located 
at that particular site or which is located nearby the bank branch. The third type of ATM is off-site ATM. The ATM which are located at other places are known as off-site ATM. Off-site ATM which are located at other places means the ATM centers which are located at shopping malls, railway stations, bus stations, airports and other public places. These ATMs are known as off-site ATMs with an intention to reach more and more customers bank install these off-site ATMs at various places beyond the geographical areas in order to access the banking services from any of the area broad geographical area the customer in a position to avail the services of the banks through various places therefore in order to cover the large area these types of ATMs the banks used to install at various places these types of ATM are known as off-site ATM these are the ATMs which are installed on standalone basis standalone basis means the machine will perform all the transactions no bank is located nearby that's why it is known as standalone basis these ATMs are known as off-site ATM the fourth type of ATM is work site ATM the work site ATM is such type of ATM which is installed within the premises of an organization the workers or the employees who are working in a particular organization they can avail the banking services within the premises of that particular organization where they are working the employees of that organization can avail the banking services through this worksite ATM. So, this ATM is known as worksite ATM which is installed at the working place and the employees of that particular organization can avail the banking services through this type of ATM. Then, next type of ATM is known as mobile ATM. Mobile ATM is also known as ATM on wheels. This is the type of ATM which moves from one place to another. This is the type of ATM which moves at various areas and various places. That's why this ATM is known as mobile ATM. In India, ICICI is the first bank which introduced such type of mobile ATM. Then next ATM type is white label ATM. This white label ATM, the services which are provided by non-banking financial corporations is known as white label ATM. The non-banking financial corporations set up the ATM, operate the ATM and these ATMs owned by the non-banking financial corporations. These types of ATMs are known as white label ATM. In order to expand the services of the banks to large number of customers, in order to provide the ATM services and the expand the ATM services to the large number of customers, the RBI approved this particular type of ATM. The non-banking financial entities, non-banking financial corporations can set up, operate and own the ATM machines and these types of ATMs are known as white label ATM. In India, Tata is the first company to launch this type of white label ATM and the IndiCash, I-N-D-I-C-A-S-H is uh, the service 
ATM service which is provided by the Tata company in India. Next is brown label ATM. The brown label ATM is such type of ATM where the service provider is different and sponsor bank is different. Means the ATM service, while providing this ATM service, the sponsor bank performs one duty and at the same time the service provider, the other duty is assigned to the service provider. The hardware and the lease of the ATM is owned by the service provider and the cash management, connectivity or the internet connectivity, connectivity to the banking network is managed and provided by the sponsor bank. This type of ATM is known as brown label ATM. In this type of brown label ATM, two parties are involved. At the one side, the party that is sponsor service provider who provides the hardware and at the second side, the sponsor bank which look over the cash management issues and the connectivity issues that is sponsor bank will look over these matters. So this type of ATM is known as brown label ATM. The next type of ATM is green label ATM. The ATM which provides the agricultural services, the ATM which is used for the agricultural services is known as green label ATM. For Agricultural services, this green label ATM is used. The next one is orange label ATM. The ATM which is provided for the share transactions is known as orange label ATM. Then next type is yellow label ATM. The ATM which is provided for electronic commerce services the ATM which is provided for e-commerce is known as yellow label ATM. Then for the women banking, the another type of ATM that is known as pink label ATM which is provided for the transactions which are related with the women banking. And the next type of ATM is standalone ATM. This ATM is not connected through network. The ATM which is restricted to the branch itself, that ATM is known as standalone ATM. Not connected to the network means, not connected through the network means this type of ATM is not connected with other branches and other banking networks. This particular standalone ATM is that type of ATM which is working for that specific branch only. Just in order to avoid the queues of the customers, this type of ATM, the banks or the branches used to install in that particular branch itself. It is not connected to any other network. It is just connected to that branch itself. Only the person who physically visits to the bank branch can perform the transactions on this type of standalone ATM in that branch only. So that type of ATM is known as standalone ATM. The next type is online ATM. Online ATM means the ATM which is connected to the network. Which is connected to the network 24 into 7. Every time the customer can perform the banking transactions or from any of the ATM machine the customer can perform his banking transaction because this type of ATM which is connected to the network, connected to the banking network, it is connected with various banking networks, that type of ATM is known as online ATM. The next type is offline ATM. The offline ATM is the type of ATM which is not connected to bank database. Only a specific branch can use this type of ATM for their internal uh, 
transactions so it is not connected to the bank database and the last type of atm is biometric atm in this particular biometric atm the customer the bank customer can avail the atm services through his fingerprint scanner or the eye scanner so the atm which perform the banking transactions with the customer can avail the banking services and he can perform the banking services through his fingerprints and eye scanning so this type of atm where the fingerprint scanner and eye scanner is there and through that particular devices we can perform our banking transactions that type of atm is known as biometric atm so in this way these are the different types of atm now i will stop my lecture here in my next lecture i will explain the other topics which are related with atm thank you very much